the Twilight Zone. It dawned half a century ago, changing science fiction forever. A man called Rod Serling combined fantasy, horror, and suspense, warning people about the dark side of human nature, science fiction as a kind of public service. An episode called The Monsters Are Due on Maple Street shows what can happen when citizens let paranoia prevail. You're all desperate to point some kind of a finger at a neighbor. Well, believe me, friends, the only thing that's going to happen is that we're going to eat each other up alive. The Twilight Zone's predictions of the human condition were revolutionary for network television. But they were also part of a much larger and older tradition of science fiction, revealing the future before it happens. Back in the 1600s, astronomer Johannes Kepler wrote what many believe was the first work of science fiction. Somnium imagined what would happen if man traveled into space. He predicted weightlessness. In the 1800s, American author Edward Bellamy envisioned a utopian future with no paper money. Today, we call that fantasy the credit card. At the turn of the century, even before the first airplane flight, Rudyard Kipling wrote about skies full of aircraft carrying letters and packages circling the globe. What's up there? A crazy idea called airmail. And not long after that, near the beginning of the 1900s, H.G. Wells envisioned a machine that would record the human voice and send it to another machine far away, wirelessly. I've been waiting all day for this. Today, it's called a cell phone and voicemail. Ken Perlin, who won an Oscar for his work on the film The Abyss, says science fiction does more than simply predict. Science fiction is a very clear example of a way that we force ourselves to engage in these very serious discussions about our future, our impact on each other, and our impact on the world. Some of the predictions of the past turn out to be kind of simple and humdrum in retrospect, like Star Trek's communicators. You can't even take a picture with one of those things. Cell phones are way better. But teleportation, flying cars, I guess we gotta keep dreaming about those. But it's all so clear. It makes sense. And what predictions today might prove true tomorrow? You'll just have to tune in 50 years from now and see for yourself right here in a place called Sunday Morning.